construct as leaders? And how do you deal with the sort of the, the idea that your work can then be used by leaders to highlight what's the good stuff to go take? Um, how do I reconcile my work with, with the Native American community, the Maya community, in terms of are we being destructive? Um, are we perceived as being destructive? And then perhaps are we teaching the leaders where to dig? Let me start with the last one. And the answer is yes, we are. Your desire to set your own path. And that's the way it's going to occur. And the only way we can learn about that past is by digging in and so on. The other thing I'll say is the dig at Shenan was sanctioned by the local community. They performed an opening ceremony, they performed it every year for us, where the shaman would come out and would pray over me as the director and over the project on a daily, on, excuse me, on an annual basis. Uh, they would close the site with us at the end of the year with ceremony. Um, and there were Maya people digging. They were digging their own paths. Um, I cannot say to you that I then had graduate students who were Maya, I would like to, I have got some who have bachelor's degrees, PhDs are the whole issue. Um, but I do think that the question of the connection of the Maya to this, to the dig, sometimes there are some projects where things have not been as pleasant, where in fact the archaeologists were seen as looters coming in to destroy the cultural heritage of the Maya. And that's, I blame upon the archaeologists for not explaining to the local community what they're doing, asking permission to do it, and sometimes being willing to take no for an answer. What oftentimes happens is you get a permit from the central government, and you say, I'm just going to do it. And you really have to ask the community, and if the community says no, you've got to say, okay, and I'll go somewhere else to do it. Have you run into issues with the Mayans seeing it as an invasion of sacred space? Um, I know I'm, I study North American Native populations, and that can be... Very, 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 yeah, very, very deep. And I work with a lot of Native, North American Native Americans on the same issue. The answer is, I have not personally run into that. What's interesting is when I started this dig, the local community of Maya said, that though my ancestors did not build that site. That's and I said, yes, they did, and they said, no, they didn't. Uh, we came from over here, and it's a modern-day movement that they're relating about, an, and I'm talking about an ancient site as if Maya to Maya, they're talking about, I am Mopan Maya, and that's not Mopan Maya who built that. Very specific. However, change is now occurring where they're seeing that they get a, that they're able to create a very strong political structure by saying, we are Maya, that's Maya, it's all connected. And so that there is more of a shift in that direction. Sacred space has become a little more difficult to identify in terms of ancient sacred space, but the answer is yes, there's more and more of that awareness of it. Um, all I can say is I think if there is respect and interaction from the beginning, I have had always great rapport with the local community. When there's not the respect and the desire to work with people, you're going to get your butt kicked. Be blunt. Um, that should be it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.